Hello there folks, TGY Productions here. I'm going to do another quick update. don't know what that was all about. Um, first things first, the switch that the rear of this train is, if you've seen the other video, is now motorized. I have a Torta switch machine installed, um, which will allow me to... That's why. Alright. It'll allow me to switch this remotely if I ever decide to upgrade and install the stationary decoder, but that doesn't seem to be the case at the time being, seeing as, well, the switch for the switch is just right in the front of the table in a pretty convenient place, so that's how that works. Um, let's see here. Oops, don't do that. Just let's stay. I'm wrestling with a DT402 Digitrax controller, infrared, um, it's the one with the long curly cord, um, this fella right here works really nice, I love it, um, the two knobs is great, I can control both trains at once, which is really about all I can control, just because of the size of the layout. But I have 9580 and 5624 MU'd over here, and I have 8427 controlled right here, so we can just, you know... Oh, except it's shorting. Alright. So. That's, uh... I actually just got this in the mail today. So I've been messing around with this fella. I like it. This... This is nice. Um, takes a little practice just to figure out how it works. It's different slightly than the uh, DCS-51 controls, um, especially MUing it. You actually have to select the top locomotive in this one and the one you want to add to it in this one. And then, but that's whatever. Um, T402 Tortoise Switch Machine 8427 now has a decoder installed, um, which is nice. So I can run him back here. It's not the most graceful, um, can be pretty loud at times. Um, But I've added the most momentum into this guy. Um, so it takes a while for it to get up to speed. But I like it. It looks great. Walter's mainline. Um, so that's really cool. It's running pretty well. Um, like I said, though, it'll just do that grinding once in a while. Um, it's part of its not so smoothness, but whatever. A little engine lube, I'm sure will pick it up. I have none, so I've never actually used any on any locomotive before, but that's whatever. Can't be too difficult. I'll deal with that later. Um, I'll give this guy the run around here. So like I said, it's set to 20 now. You can kind of see, and it's going to take a while for it to actually reach that speed because I've programmed um, CB3 to a value of 100, which is the acceleration, and CB4, which is deceleration to, I believe, is 35. There's that grinding you can hear. Like I said, looks great. I haven't had too many problems with it running on the outside loop, when it takes the inside, it seems to give me heck, but so does apparently everything else. So, track work, maintenance is needed, whatever. Uh, you hit the power button, and it'll turn on a little light, so you can kind of get a little mini flashlight here or whatever. Just pro tip. Um, you actually have to hit the plus or minus to change the power status. And you just hit it again and it'll take you back. So, a little fun stuff. Um, yeah, GPS 97, that's who I got that from. Um, 
znhotrains.com or gps underscore 97 on ebay definitely check them out um, i bought this on saturday it's now monday and it's already here so shipping in terms of speed is pretty awesome i'm definitely impressed um, brand new with the box um, as well as a cute little uh, bottle opener thing that he stuck in the box as well so I'm definitely impressed and between him and uh, Bob the train guy I'll have to compare prices with just about everything now because both of them have me pretty impressed so kind of overshot there momentum love it that's one of the things I don't know if I've uploaded I don't think I've uploaded the video yet but I have filmed the video um, I think it was on my phone, but whatever. Ah, I keep getting shocked by things. That hurt. It's so dry down here. It's a really nice day outside. Um, let's see what the current temperature is. No, it's not 37. That was two days ago. Update and jerk. It's gorgeous outside. I'm kind of wishing I was outside, but I'm not, so it's whatever. Oh, I'm experiencing server issues. I noticed because you said it was 37 outside from two days ago, of which I am aware. Two days ago it was cold out. It's no longer two days ago. Um. I don't know if I covered this in my last video. I do have a Superliner car just to test out the curves. Um, <clears throat> I'll need to figure out how to install decoders into my Amtrak locomotives as they don't have a quick plug or anything. Um, come on. So that means he's going to derail. <clears throat> Nice. So, don't mind what I was just talking about. I think it was decoders. Um, Walter's Ace had a quick plug. This guy, I don't know if you can see my switch engine, this SD40 2, and this SD40 2 have quick plugs. I think I figured out my track problem there. Let's see if that holds out. Uh huh. Looks better. Oh. I actually jumped with the frog. Whatever. Later problems. So, the other cool thing uh, that I'm, I'm liking, you can see the track status light here. When I hit the emergency brake, it actually is different than on this. You hit the emergency brake on here, it actually cuts power to everything. Whereas here, it'll actually just stop it. And you'll watch this light, and it stays on. So, that's a really cool thing that I like. So, I'm glad I have this. Next investment is going to be the infrared receiver. Um, and I plan on doing sort of like a uh, corner shelf thing back here. And just hang it off the middle. So, 
So just like right here, a little corner piece, and plywood, and just hang it right off the front here. That way I can infrared is line of sight, just like your TV remote. So anywhere I take it, it's got to be pointed at, you know, whatever. And because it's just a four-way, this is like the optimal place right here because I do everything else in front and around the side here, so works out. So, yeah. That's what's new. I really don't think there's anything else I wanted to cover. I guess though this can stay down there. I was using that as a jump throttle as you saw in the, or I hope you saw in the other one of my Digitrax tutorials there, was uh, demonstrating how to add that and I was actually using that to essentially do what this did. It's a little bit tricky but not really because there's only one locomotive that I really use the functions for. Um, so, yeah, but now I have this, I can control two trains here and one also on DCS-51. Um, I leave these two MU'd together for the most part. That one I've been trying to adjust the speed table for, so I could MU it, but I have not been successful. And this one, obviously, that MP-15 runs so slow, I can't MU it either, so... Just depends on what I want to do. I only have enough room, obviously, to fit two trains. As you can see, train one and train two in the background. Um, and even trying to switch these two around, I only have the one siding, um, which means juggling trains around is difficult because they both got to move the same direction at the same. I'll show you. I'm going to switch, switch these guys around here. It's a little bit of a tricky thing to do. Um, pretty much you just gotta one run one in one direction and have the other one back up. Um, and then park the first one and you'll see. So I'm moving 9580 back now. He's gonna come on the front track where this coal train sits currently. And we're starting to shove 8427 back. Let's see if this flips, switch the, whatever I was trying to say there. Flip the switch, not switch the flip. So we're good here. I only set this to one. You can see it's accelerating quite a bit. So 9580 is coming around on the other side here. I actually got to pick its speed up. Uh, as you can sort of see in the back, they're catching up. And this is what I'm running at. So 8427 runs pretty fast. So then just flip another switch back. Flip this switch back. Bring 9580 to a stop. And we'll just run him up the middle here. Gently. Seeing as he likes to derail on that switch coming on the inside. Or I could just keep backing him up through this end, but it seems like a lot of work. Yep. As I thought.
Oh, I completely shorted. There we go. So that's my uh, tr struggle with that one. Like I said, this one has the most momentum. So, full throttle, no throttle. It, it'll just roll. It's pretty cool. And of course, the emergency stop will also stop it, but... I think I just got one car too many, so I end up switching this guy back. But... So yeah, that's that's what's new. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Questions, comments, suggestions, drop them below. I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah, we'll see you later. Bye.